Hey fellas, we're going to take a look at an old game. This is a decision game published in a box, very thin box. What is that? Half inch maybe? One inch? I don't know. Leningrad, the advance of Army Group North, summer of 1941, decision games and SPI. I think this was a, well, I don't know, so I'm not going to speculate. We're just going to look at the insides of it. It comes with a die. Um, I've already punched all these counters. These are the Germans. Uh, they are gray. The SS units are black. That's the SS Polizza division. I believe that's what double X means. And you have air units and infantries. Soviet units have an untried side, which is this U. They all have a movement of five. And then when they're, they are attacked or when you attack with them, you flip them from their untried side to their combat side, which... Uh, let me find one. There's, really? There's not one flipped? Oh, here's one. Five, three, five. Top number is the attack. The middle number is the defense. And the bottom number is the move. The move's always going to be five for infantry because it's always five on the untried side. See? Um, but you have different units that are untried. You don't know what you're getting. Uh, you get a sheet of rules. The rules are, of course, there's no page number, but we'll count them. Two, four. No, there are page numbers. All right. Seven, eight pages of rules, but the last page seven is designer's notes. Page eight are your charts. So there's really only six pages of rules. Five and a half, because half of this is the reinforcement schedule. A very basic, simple game. Here's your unit types. Here is the map. Very heavy crease. I know it's been stored for a long time. Very heavy crease. Heavy like my, never mind. Um, actually, the map's probably, if you're looking north-south, it's probably a lot like this. Uh... Up here's Leningrad. Uh, very, very simple map. There's roads, forests, river lines. And there's some hills over here. But uh, for the most part, I thought there were swamps. Yeah, there are swamps. Uh, oh, here they are. Here's the swamp lands. There's swamp lands, forests, and roads. And uh, the Germans start behind this red line, and they sweep this way up towards Leningrad. Uh, there is some kind of Finnish, um, what would you call it, retaliation. Uh, but it, it's, there's really never any units up here. But as the Germans, what you want to do is drive from this edge of the board and take Leningrad. Roads are your friends. River lines are your enemies. But, well, it's a, it's, this is a good game. It's actually a good, quick, this is a, uh, this is a game that you would want to teach to somebody that has never played a war game before. 
to teach them the basic things. Um, th you defend, usually this city's defended, this city's defended. Once there's a breakthrough across the river, because we're using the river as a defensive line, once there's a breakthrough across the river, the people that were here tend to retreat this direction to try to defend. So it's, it's a very good teaching game. Um, it's a 11 by 17 map, very basic and simple. There's a bigger overlay of this area around Leningrad in case there's too much shit stacked up there. And you have your terrain defects chart, your turn record tr tr track. And what I say, six pages of rules maybe for this. Very basic, easy game. Uh, this is what you get in this box. A map, an eight page rule book, which only six are really rules. A counter sheet, Maybe it's not even a full counter sheet. Half counter sheet of counters, maybe? A die. And a box. This is a magazine game published as a $25 box game. That's what it cost when I bought it. I've had this game for so long, boys. I was, I was damn near barely out of high school when I bought this. And I'm 52 now, so... That tells you how old this game is. This is an old DG box game that's really a magazine game. But it's a really good starter one to uh, learn how to play war games. All right. Thanks for watching. Laters.